Hello everybody. So today I will talk about calculus. The topic today is about tangent line. So now I will show you how to answer. We need to find the tangent line of this function in here. And we know that the tangent line is parallel with 3x minus y equals to number 15. So now I will show you. First, we need to concentrate about this one only. So I will put negative y go to the right and number 15 go to the left. So we have 3x minus 15 equals to y. So because the tangent line is parallel with this one, so we have the formula in here. The slope of the tangent line should be equals to the slope of y equal to 3x minus 15 because this is about parallel. So the slope of tangent line should be equals to the slope of this one. And the slope of this one, that's a about number 3. That means first the derivative of y should be equals to number 3. Now we need to find first the derivative of y from here. First the derivative of x to the power over of 3, we have 3x squared. This one we have 2x. And this one we have number 3 because first the derivative of x we have number 3. And we need to put this one equals to number 3 in here. And now we need to find the solutions of x. Now we simplify number 3 for the both sides. This one we have 6x. Next we can do factorization by s. And now we have two solutions. That's about s equals to number 0 and 3x minus 6 equals to number 0. So this one we have s equal to number 6 divided by 3. So we put negative number 6 go to the right and we divide both sides by number 3. Now, after we got about x equal to number 0, we can find the value of y. So we put this one go back in here. So this one we have negative number 3. And this one, we put number 2 go back in here. So we have negative number 1. And now we apply about the tangent line in here. So for the first one, we know that first the derivative of y, we just got about number 3 in here. So I will put number 3. So for the first one, s0, that's about number 0. And negative number 3, we put in here. If we simplify and we have 3x minus 3. Now we have the second one in here. So first the derivative of y we have number 3. And number 2 we put in here. And negative number 1 we put in here. So we have y equals to 
3x minus 6 minus 1. So we have 3x minus 7. And this is the final answer of the question in here. This is the end. Thank you for watching.